Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Yazzie, and I am back with another manga quickie. Also, I know I'm in yet another new space, but it is all I can do to avoid the chaos that happened last time. Shoutouts to anyone who made it through that video. I'm sorry about the audio. It'll be better this time. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Tamamo Chan's A Fox. This one is pretty much on the opposite end of the school life spectrum from the last manga I talked about, which was Pleasure and Corruption. This lighthearted comedy story follows Fushimi Tamamo, a fox from the Inari Shrine, in her daily life as a totally normal, regular, average, definitely human high school girl. She puts on a disguise so she can live her dream of that human high school experience, and while adults and cameras see her one way, her fellow classmates see a furry girl. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute though! Oh, I love her so much, I love human her, but I fucking love furry her. This is really the definition of a comfy slice of life. So far in the four volumes that Seven Seas has brought us, there's been no major conflict or anything. The deity of the shrine, Inari Okami, gave Tamamo permission to live among the humans on the caveat that she blend in. For if she does get found out, her spirit will be forfeited as punishment. But because Tamamo is so simple-minded, she hardly sees that as a threat, and it ends up being something that keeps the plot moving and not really some serious stake looming over her. Tamamo is so innocent and pure and carefree, so the low-stress vibe really makes it easy to focus on just falling in love with her in all of her perfect fluffy glory. She truly believes she's blending in, even though she turns into a statue when she's stressed or goes dog mode when someone throws a ball near her. She's so airheaded that she has no idea why a fox spirit might be getting offerings from her classmates or permanently have good luck. It's a mystery. You really can't help but smile when she's getting excited to get her hair curled by her classmates or when she's overwhelmed by just the wonders of shopping in Shibuya. Everything is so new to her and it really fills my heart with joy to see the world through her naive and pure eyes. Despite the fact that she is a super cute Gyara type, this manga keeps things mostly PG. I mean, it's still a manga. It's got the beach chapter and an onsen moment and some very, very sellable covers, but this is definitely safe for public reading as long as you wear your furry status with pride and you yeah. do wear your furry status with pride right right <laughs> to keep things fresh in the story without getting too plot heavy tamamo has siblings introduced she's got a hot ara ara older sister who fills in for tamamo at school and a shy clumsy younger sister who has some uh pretty serious communication issues relatable other spirits are revealed to live among the humans later in the volumes but our ganky sweet fox girl sees their attempts to out her identity as um fun friendship building moments no matter how hard anybody tries tamamo just blindly keeps things wholesome no matter what the manga is done in a really simplistic four coma style with these really detailed notes on the side of every single page they are an absolute delight to read, and between those tidbits and the fact that every single chapter starts with some kind of cultural backstory, I've learned so much about shrines and spirits, and even real foxes. There's real fox facts in there too. I, I just, I tried, I tried to do this for my hand. If you're looking for something cute, refreshing, and lighthearted, you can pick up Tamamo Chan's a Fox over on Bookwalker. Who would have guessed? <laughs> they currently have all four volumes available as eBooks, and you can use my code Yazzie. That's Y. I don't know what direction it is. Y A Z Y. <laughs> New users can get 600 yen off of their purchase. You can help support the channel, help support a cute fox girl manga, and enjoy your newfound love of furry Gyaru that will absolutely overtake you by the end of volume one. Seriously, you think you might be immune to the furry? You're like, no, no, no. I just appreciate fox girls. I'm not a furry. You're a furry now. You're a furry now. Also, if you're really unsure if you want to read it or not, the author has some early English pages uploaded to their Twitter. <clears throat> uh, speaking of the author, as is often the case with these wholesome slice of life manga, watch yourself when you're Googling their other work. Don't say I didn't warn you. Bye. <laughs>